Okay, with this setup here, you're not actually turning your drill on. I have a socket underneath my uh, system. I have my bushing in place. I have a pusher inside my uh, drill and I'm going to uh, use the handle of the drill and just push the bushing into my hole. And there we have it. I have a new bushing in this hole. But now, because the um, because the uh, pivot of that gear will not fit, I'm going to have to broach out the hole. To allow it to fit and you always want to make sure that the oil sink is in the right spot now if so happens that your um, your bushing is wider or I mean thicker than your plate you would take a drill bit And you would put the bushing in so it's flush with the inside of the clock. You would take a drill bit and drill this side that is uh, uh, thicker, because that is what the uh, that will allow you to have an oil sink. Um, And like I said, the pivot will not fit in this hole because we already said that it was 0.5 millimeters to start with. So I'm going to take my brooch and I'm going to brooch this hole out some. I'm actually going to start from the inside of the clock and broach the inside of the clock because that's where the pivot is going to go in the first place. And this brooch might be too big. I'm having trouble starting it. Now I have some smaller brooches, so stand by. Here's a smaller brooch. I said this uh, set was for a alarm clock set. And so uh, it comes with some really small brooches. It's just that these small brooches are extremely thin, so you want to take your time, you don't want to break them. It's actually through the plate. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually through the plate. And I'm working it. To 
to uh, to go through this brooch was point uh, uh, sorry one millimeter point one millimeter I'm getting my numbers all mixed up here And afterwards, you want to take what's called a smooth cutting brooch. And the smooth cutting brooch is round. And I laid one down. Let me see if I can find it. Stand by. But afterwards, you want to take what's called a smooth cutting brooch and uh, smooth up the uh, a hole. This is a typical cutting brooch. I don't know if you can see it. It's got three sides to it. It's like a triangle. A smooth cutting brooch is completely round. It's going to take off all the burrs that the uh, typical cutting brooch created. So take a smooth cutting brooch in to take off all the burrs. And I typically because you're uh, using the hand method I typically would take a file to the whole area afterwards 90% of the time you're not going to have a problem but that 10% um, when you put the plates back on you won't have any end shake and that's because there was some kind of burr so, anyway, we don't have that much play in this gear anymore. And so this one is done. I hope you all like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, you don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars to put bushings in. Everything that I showed you. It costs less than $50. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless.